Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm in a new undisclosed location because guess what? We have the all new 2020 Nissan Sentra SR. Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, well Joe, haven't you already done this vehicle? And my answer to you would be, yes we have, but I have been granted by Nissan the ability to have this car for a week to really get to the inner workings, not only to the exterior, what's underneath the hood, but also the all new interior so that I can bring an even better, more in-depth review to you. And what I want to really do is, is question, is this the compact car to get? Compact car class is so full of top competitors, the Honda Civic, Toyota Corolla, Hyundai Elantra, and of course, the Mazda 3. Add in the new rede redesigned Sentra, your decision has just been made a little bit more difficult. But let's go ahead, dive into this all new design, new generation of the Sentra. And I really feel that this Sentra represents a movement for Nissan where they're gonna have great change in their whole lineup. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, I love the styling. It looks like a mini Maxima. A lot of people compare it to the Altima. It really looks like the, Mac, the Maxima. I love this beautiful metallic bright orange color. You have full LED headlights. So you got your LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn singles. You drop down, you got a little bit of gloss black. I love the way the lower fascia extends. No fake venting and fog lamps. So they got all the right boxes checked off just in this one corner. Now, as we come across that V-Motion grill, V, V for victory, that's what Nissan's trying to do. They're trying to get victorious with some sales. You have your gloss black, that Nissan logo, you drop down, you have a horizontal uh, flat black, and then uh, I like the way the orange kind of extends from the flat black, really shows a multi-level of depth to just the front of the car, especially the way that the headlights drop down into that gloss black to really form that full V-motion grill. Now, when you get up onto the hood, very smart what they did with the body lines. They started on the front fascia, brought it right into the hood, and what's nice is you got two high peaks at each side of the hood to give you good reference point as you're driving this new, all new Sentra. When we come around the bend, here's what we're working with, wheel and tire setup on the SR trim. So it's an 18 inch wheel, machine aluminum, gloss black, clean looking wheel, love the style, 215 on the width, 45 series sidewall, and guess what? No flat black plastic, no stuck on fake vents, none of that garbage, nice, clean, flowing line. Now when we go down the fender, you can see that nice sharp body line kind of fades away into the driver's side door, on the SR trim, you're gonna get black mirror caps, and this one has, and I would actually check this box off, the black roof. I think that two-tone paint scheme really gives it a nice high-class look to the overall feel of the Sentra. Little bit of chrome trim just on the bottom, and I like the way it kind of hockey sticks into the back portion here. Color matched on the door handles, a nice, attractive-looking side sill. We get to the back, and here's where it curves up in that floating roof design. So Nissan really with the Maxima brought out that floating roof design very, very well with the way the re rear pillar and the roof line is, is set up. And I love the way it actually comes to a nice point here instead of following deeper into the rear fender. And then when we get to the tail in the business, all new taillight design. So like I said, SR trim, that's that top trim. Very, very clean on the design of the taillights. Now you do have this faux fake vent, which I am gonna zonk, but other than that, the rear diffuser looks phenomenal. One exhaust pipe, nice slash cut, looks clean. You got a trunk lid spoiler that kind of extends up and out and really gives it a nice look. But why don't we go ahead, pop the hood and see what's happening on the new Sentra. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. You do have a prop rod, but the good news is it's all the way over to the passenger side. Underneath the hood, no plastic covers or anything like that. What are we looking at? You're looking at a naturally aspirated two liter inline four engine, pumps out 149 horsepower, 145 pound-feet of torque. That's actually more horsepower than the previous generation. The one area of debate is there's just one engine uh, choice. There's just one engine choice and one transmission choice only a CVT and only this two liter. As of right now, Nissan has not said anything about a turbocharged inline four 
or bringing back the manual transmission mission. But this one, like I said, made it to a CVT, zero to 60. You're not gonna blow anybody's doors off is nine seconds. It does weigh 3,084 pounds. The great news is maximum MPGs, 29 in the city, 39 on the highway. And like I said, going up against the other competitors are really going to um, make this, I think, a choice in that compact car segment for people that they don't want different engine options, they don't want a turbocharged engine, they just want something that looks really nice, get some great MPGs, this might be the one for you. But let's get to the all new interior and see the changes Nissan has made. All right, guys, we're inside the all new Nissan Sentra SR trim. I know you're wondering, Joe, what's the price of this? It's got to be pricey since this is all new. You're looking at MSRP right around $21,440. I think you're going to find you get a lot for the money. Let's go to the door panels. Now you have wonderful soft material. I love the orange contrast stitching. It really works with this particular color. A little bit of faux carbon fiber and silver. It's tasteful. The armrests are nice and soft. You do have a small door pocket where you could probably get a Whopper, maybe a Whopper Junior. This one has the optional Bose sound system. And I want to show you in the corner of the top of the door panel, that little rectangle there, that is your blind spot monitoring that lights up on the interior. I like touches like that. When you get to the dash, this is where they blow it out of the water. The stitching is great. Nice soft material. You come to the center. This is very Mercedes-Benz-esque. You do have an iPad style infotainment system screen. This is an eight inch screen, but the great news is, is you got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We'll go to our menu. You do have, of course, touch screen capability, which is great. We'll go back. You got your cameras, which we can look out the um, back and front of the vehicle. So you do have trajectory. We have 360 degree, which is great. You come back and there's your uh, 90s on nine. I'm gonna go 80s on eight but I'll drop it down. The stitch work is great. You do have dual climate, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. I wish that they would do ventilated seats. Heated steering wheel though is great. Keep dropping down, look at the connectivity. USB-C, aux jack, USB, and a 12 volt. Nice large cubby where you could have your Twinkies just laying here, ready to go. Tasteful start stop button. The way that they did this is very, very tasteful. I like the nice soft touch material. This is gonna control that CVT transmission. Two cup holders. A little tiny cubby for some atomic fireballs and still the stitch work. I mean, they took it everywhere and they did it spot on. You pick this up, you could actually fill this up with soda and put a straw in it and just drink right out of it. That's how large it is. You can take a couple big gulps and then just suck right out of there. Seats, phenomenal. These are those zero gravity seats. Love the design, the stitch work, very, very comfortable. Now, you do have your manual seat controls for the passenger, but you do get power for the driver, but the zero gravity makes them so comfy. It's ridiculous. I love the lighter headliner color in here. Makes it a little nice and bright and airy, and you do get a standard sunroof on the SR trim. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this all new Sentra. All right, guys, here we are, business time. Now, one thing to be aware of is that for a compact car, this thing has something that a lot of the competitors don't have. Nissan calls it the 360 shield of protection. That's gonna give you your blind spot monitoring, emergency braking out the front, emergency braking out the back, 10 airbags, even where it reminds you if you are leaving your kids in the back seat, your Nissan Sentra does that. You do have your seat controls, nicely uh, positioned to get to, lower lumbar, I could get all the lower lumbar, use it all up, love it. Steering wheel, this is where it puts a smile on my face. It looks like it's out of a GTR, flat bottom, the orange contrast stitching like a baseball, tasteful horn button, a little bit of silver trim, and the nice thing is all flat black buttons. You don't have to worry about any paddles. There's no paddle shifting or any of that. Gauges, clean and clear. Now this one has a seven inch display in the center that you could toggle through a plethora of information, cornucopia of information, and then what's great is you have an analog tech, speedometer, coolant gauge, and fuel gauge, really, really nice. Looking out across the hood, piece of cake. I got plenty of headroom in here, plenty of shoulder room, six feet tall, feeling good. Let's go ahead and check out that back seat and see how much room you have in the all new Sentra. All right, guys, one of the wonderful things about the Sentra being a little bit larger on the exterior, because remember, it's wider, it's a little longer, it's lower, you get more room on the inside, and that's what's great. Now, I have not moved the front seats, especially the driver's seat. This is exactly where I was sitting tons of room. Now you only do get one pocket on the side so you can put your toothbrush, a mirror, a comb, uh, 
maybe uh, a Frisbee or two in this pocket. You do get one USB. It would have been nice to have two, but you know what? Arm wrestle the person back here. If you're stronger, that's yours every time you're riding in this Sentra. But the great news is, like I said, the amount of headroom is awesome. Pull this down, look at that. Nice soft armrest, two cup holders, which is great. But it really shows, I think where the Sentra just decimates the Mazda 3 is definitely in this back seat area. Even, I'm gonna say Corolla, it's gonna come out ahead. It's gonna be close between this and the Honda Civic. But why don't we go ahead, check out that trunk and see how much space we have in the Sentra SR. All right guys, time to see what kind of junk we can put in the trunk. Real simple, you push the button, lifts up nicely. Good size on the width of the opening. And the great news is, is you got 15 cubic feet of space. Those seats are gonna do the 60-40 split, which is nice. And that just allows you to use a compact car for every day. You don't have to go to some SUV, CUV, or DVD. If you're driving a DVD, send me a picture of that because I'd like to see that. We lift up the cargo mat. You do get a spare, which is nice as well. It's always a nice touch. It seems like manufacturers are leaving that out either to cut weight or cut cost. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Nissan Sentra for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 Nissan Sentra. This one is that SR trim. Right away, you're going to love these seats. The zero gravity seats designed in conjunction with NASA. Very, very comfortable, very supportive, and also look phenomenal in here especially at this trim level they look really great the thing i like about this sentra is that there's not a bunch of different driving modes now you may think oh well that doesn't allow me to person personalize it to however i'm going to drive for that particular trip but the good news is you just get in it you start it up and you drive and right away very very smooth it's got wonderful feeling you know they reworked the rack and pinion on this car gives it a great overall feeling and feedback to what those front wheels are doing. And the steering wheel, I'm telling you, I look at it and I'm like, this wheel belongs in a GTR. Easy to get to that touchscreen. I know some of you are a little bothered by the iPad style touchscreen. The good news is the way that this one is integrated, it doesn't just look like it's tacked on with some double-sided tape and bubble gum. Easy to get to, the AC vents, very, very, not only aesthetically pleasing, but they're very pleasing to cooling or heating your body. And then of course you got the connectivity. Some of the things I'm missing, I am missing wireless charging. I wish that they would have had that in here and I am missing navigation as well. But with the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you're able to utilize your phone very, very easily for those um, different services. The dash, that seven inch digital display gives you all the information the tack and the speedometer are nicely laid out. I just wish there was a little bit more horsepower. If it had a turbocharged engine, sign me up. That would be fantastic, and especially a manual. But for somebody, like I said, you're looking at those compact car competitors and you want something that is gonna be obviously good on the MPG return, but also have that look that just, you stand out from the crowd. This car has it tenfold everywhere i touch the soft material is great and that's where i really think that they hit a home run with this uh with the Sentra is not only the aesthetics of the exterior but what they did to the interior visibility out the back is clear side mirrors are great you got that safeguard protection gonna make sure you arrive alive every single time that's what makes this a wonderful car to drive. GoPro, stop recording. All right, guys, pulling away from the light. Nice throttle sensitivity. I'm gonna change lanes here, show off the handling a little bit on throttle. Handles great. You do have that CVT. It does have simulated gears, but the way that the simulated gears are coming into play, it still has a very high RPM sound to the engine. Typical of this setup, but the steering is really spot on the money. I really do love the steering in this um, Sentra SR. It, it really feels nice. It's got a good weight to it, and it's not really loose. It's nice and tight and gives you a direct contact to what's going on in the front of the car. Back on throttle. 
through these twisty little sections here. Nice and controlled, very composed. The chassis, the work they did to the setup of the suspension really shows very, very well as you're going through some twisty sections uh, of road or dodging cars um, that are in your way, so to speak. I'm glad that you have the auto dimming mirror and the sunroof is a nice touch as well to have, especially when it's a beautiful day like it is today. But pulling out here on throttle. You can hear those simulated gears going through. But I really think that using this car as your regular daily driver is really going to be a pleasurable experience because like I said, of that great return on the MPGs and just overall all the great work that they did into re-engineering and restyling the Sentra. All right guys, let me do a little acceleration test here for you. I'm gonna to come to a complete stop on throttle. Gets the power down very, very efficiently. Those simulated gears, but 90% of the time when you're driving this, you're not gonna be flat on throttle, so you really don't have to worry too much about that loud engine drone from uh, the combination of the engine with the CVT transmission, because just driving around town at a normal pace, very, very smooth, very composed, and it really shows where Nissan did their homework in the setup of this car. And the more I drive it, the more that I like it. You know, it's it's one of those things that with these press fleet vehicles, being able to drive the car for a longer period of time really allows you to appreciate certain attributes of it. And, uh, you know, with the interior being the place that you're spending the most time in, when you're behind the wheel, obviously, it's a great place to be. Quiet on the cabin, they did a great job with sound ending and thickness of glass really allows it to be a pleasurable experience while you're driving down the road. All right, guys, I wanna get on the highway a little bit here just to show you the driving characteristics of how smooth this Sentra is. You know, with the longer wheelbase and the larger vehicle, it actually makes for a more comfortable ride when you're at those highway speeds. So right now I'm at about 60 miles an hour and you can see just how smooth the vehicle is as we're going down the road and, and visibility is really king in here, especially for a compact car. Very, very well done and laid out for sure. But very, very comfortable, smooth. Here we are just cruising and it feels great. It really does. And you'd be surprised like the color combo on this Sentra really grabs people's attention. I get people double and triple looking to let you, to, to wondering what's going on. Now, the lane keep assist, what I love about it is that it doesn't have an annoying sound. What it does is it vibrates the steering wheel. So if I drift over a little bit to the right here, it then vibrates the steering wheel and I bring it back over because it's letting me know that I'm out of, my, out of my lane. I like the way that warning system is. It, it makes it so much nicer of an experience than an annoying beeping sound to tell you that, uh, you're, you're drifting out of your lane. Brakes feel good. Good feedback overall from all the controls. But I'm hoping that this review allowed you a little bit more in depth to what it's like behind the wheel of the Sentra on a regular basis and why it is a standout in the compact car class. We're gonna get back to my new undisclosed location. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, been another wonderful day here at my new undisclosed location. This is like undisclosed location number five. Definitely gotta thank Steve and the rest of the crew over at Nissan for allowing us access once again to this Sentra. I'm telling you, it's interesting how a week allows you to really find out if you truly are jiving with a car. And I'm telling you right now, this Sentra, the changes they made are great. Is it perfect? No, there's still some work to be done. I would like to see a turbocharger added for some extra performance. And I would also like to see a six speed manual. I'll keep my fingers crossed. We'll see how it goes. Is this the compact car to get? I'm telling you right now, Nissan has definitely doubled down 
on trying to bring you into their showrooms to roll out in one of these new Sentras. But if it's cars like these that you want to keep seeing on Radius Rides, these compact cars, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rides merch. I got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, fighting the sun, fighting the wind, fighting the elements. Thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.